Hello and welcome to SAP on Azure. My name is Holger Brocholt and in this video I want to talk about the latest integration between SAP Event Mesh and Azure Event Grid. In this video we'll take a look at one of the examples of how to send an event from an SAP S4 HANA system into Teams. On a high level the flow is like this. We have an SAP system where we create a business partner. Once the business partner is created, an event is sent to SAP Event Mesh on the business technology platform. The Event Mesh service on BTP provides a single point where all the events from multiple SAP systems can be collected. The event from Event Mesh is then forwarded to Azure Event Grid. Once in Azure, once on the Azure Event Grid, we can have multiple subscribers to do something with this event. So for example, in this scenario, we have a simple webhook, we have a subscriber on an Azure storage queue, and we also have a subscriber, um, which is basically an Azure Logic Apps. This Logic Apps performs a callback using Azure API management to the SAP system to retrieve additional information from the event that was just received. And then finally, we post an adaptive card into Teams that not only contains the ID of the business card partner that was created, but also additional details like the first name and last name. So let's take a look. We start the journey by going to transaction BP to create a business partner in the SAP s system. We provide a first name and last name and save the business partner in the SAP s system. Now an event is triggered, and this event is sent to the SAP Event Mesh on the Business Technology Platform. From there, via Azure Event Grid, it is forwarded to the Teams client, where we can now see an adaptive card with all the details from the business partner that was just created in the SAP system. If we go back to the SAP system and update, for example, the first name, then another event is triggered, and we can see the results in our Teams client where we can now see that the business partner was changed and we can also see the updates for the first name um, in the SAP system. So let's take a look behind the scene. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to configure the SAP s hana system to actually send the events um, from the SAP s hana system to Event Mesh on the business technology platform. Now, this is done here in the channel configuration. Obviously, we also need to specify which events should be forwarded. So in this specific scenario, we have configured all business partner related events. These events are then sent forward to the SAP Event Mesh on the Business Technology Platform. If we now take a look at the Event Mesh configuration screen on the BTP, we can see that there is a custom subscription currently in beta. This custom subscription is basically the channel which forwards the events from our SAP system, PM4, to Azure Event Grid um, on the, on the um, Microsoft side. So for this, we have configured two connectors. One connector that points to our PM4, the SAP S4 HANA system, um, with a CE source um, that we configured in the SAP system. And similarly, Another um, subscriber, basically, our event mesh configuration, where we specified the Azure resource group and the Azure subscription ID. With these settings, we have the connectivity between SAP Event Mesh and Azure Event Grid. So on the Azure Event Grid side, we can see now the new created partner topic, which basically corresponds to the events that are sent from SAP over to Azure. On the Azure side, we can see here the three subscribers. So we have one subscriber for storage queue. We have one subscriber for webhooks. And you can see here um, the webhook site where we can see the latest events um, also being reflected. So here you can see actually the actual event that was sent from the SAP system, where we can see just the business partner ID and, and no other additional information. We can see that it was created. If we take a look at the other subscriber here, our Logic app, then we can see the additional flow that we have created. So this Logic App is actually triggered once an event arrives in the Azure Event Grid. So this is the first trigger point that we can see here. Then we do some formatting um, to retrieve the business partner ID that we got via the event. 
we do some parsing and then from within the logic app we actually do a callback calling the api for the um, api business partner on the sap side um, with the specific business partner id that we got from the event to retrieve additional information in our specific scenario we're just extracting two values there so we're extracting the value um, for the first name and the last name, which is everything that we want to post to the um, teams via an adaptive, adaptive card scenario. And that's all there is. So with this information, we can actually then send the information about the business partner event with the first name and the last name um, to teams. I hope this quick video gave you a nice um, overview of how the integration between um, events from the SAP side using SAP Event Mesh, Azure Event Grid into Teams can really help you um, bring a multitude of different events from the SAP systems into Teams and make them available, accessible also to end user on the Teams side. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe.